everybody. I'm doing a 15 minute session today for a client. I'm going to be sharing distance energy healing and psychic wisdom to support them in the very specific goal. I want to thank you, the client, so much for the opportunity to help you today. Thank you very much for sharing with us here on YouTube. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. So I'm going to read your goal here and we're going to get started. You, you, you say, I'm struggling with anxiety. I'm actually having gag reflex sensitivity that I've never had before. I'd love for you to look into this. Any help is appreciated. Okay, so you're actually having anxiety to the level that it's causing you to gag. That's intense. Okay. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to relax here. We're going to get started. Let's see what I can do to help you, okay? See what we can do to find out if there's anything more beneath the surface of what's causing this. All right. Here we go. All right. So right now I'm being quiet. Mainly because I feel like I really need to listen. I really need to pay attention to a certain sound of something. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm just going to be quiet here for a minute and then just listen and I'll tell you what comes next. Okay, you're embarrassed or shy about something. You're ashamed of something. No wonder I have to listen because you're quiet about it. I mean, I really have to listen. What are you ashamed of? What are you embarrassed about? I mean, can you tell me? Yeah, you don't want to talk about it. All right, there's a bunch of images here. One's an egg, a white egg, classic egg. You can buy them at the supermarket, right? Um, another one seems to be just the yellow of a hard boiled egg, but it's the size of an egg. And then another is just like some old man. He kind of looks like a hobo, but he doesn't have a beard or anything. He has very greasy short hair. Um, he looks uh, like his clothes are dirty and worn out. Um, he, he even has, uh, you know what, he reminds me of some kind of classic hobo image. Because even his shoes are kind of old-timey shoes, and then they, the the bottom of the, the shoe is actually peeling off of there. So you can see his toes sticking out of the front. And they're kind of like old dress shoes, and they're very worn out. And his eyes are really gl glossy looking. And he's constantly like trying to open them big for me, but they're hanging heavy like he's half asleep. I feel like this man could do mag magic tricks. I keep seeing these eggs and I feel like he could do some kind of magic with them. I keep thinking magic. And we're talking a magician, you know, like pulls the rabbit out of the hat. And I see a silver platter, and then I see the white egg is spinning really, really fast. The yellow egg, which is just like the yellow of the inside, it's just um, in the shape. It's, it's even crumbly. If I were to take, I could crumble it. It just sits still on a silver platter. And this hobo man is holding it up like this, wanting me to watch, wanting me to pay attention. And then suddenly I, something happens in me and I get really angry. And then I take my arm and I just like hit that pan right out of his hand. And I start using my finger and pointing it in his face and telling him he's a fool. He's stupid. I don't want to waste my time. I mean, you annoy me. I don't like the way you look. You smell. I mean, I, I'm reacting like this. Okay. So let me watch and see what the meaning is. I, okay, I have to just tell you, this is what comes to me. I hate this guy. I hate this guy with all my heart. I hate this guy. I passionately hate him. I despise him. 
has nothing to do with the fact that he's a hobo, nothing to do with a ma magical talent, nothing to do with it. But there's something about him. It's like, I know this person. I have a relationship with this person. This person uh, appears to be... Um, like they need some help or some support. They appear to be sweet and um, clever. They appear to be offering um, a special gift or experience. But the truth is, this is like a, a gross person. This is a, on the soul level, um, not somebody you would want to be friends with, not somebody you'd want to stick around and watch the magic trick or even clap for, even if it was good. There's something um, like, uh, it's like you wouldn't if you made a connection with this person this person will never leave your life and you will be kicking yourself for it in the long run <laughs> it might seem like a nice thing to do at first until a year later and you're you're just like oh god why did i ever do this why did i ever meet this person why did i ever um think this person was nice what a fool i am so um that's what this hobo represents and my, my reaction towards the hobo, it seemed really irate. It seemed way out of place. It seemed disrespectful and rude. But as I analyzed the meaning for the outburst, it actually um, adds up. Uh, it kind of makes sense. It seems like maybe um, your anxiety is you're, you're holding some sounds back here in your throat. Maybe that's what's causing you to gag because you, you're not communicating. And um, it seems to be that this hobo represents um, perhaps some, somebody you actually know. Maybe it's uh, your job. Maybe it's um, but somebody that would make you completely and utterly irate. Somebody that perhaps you cross paths with. You thought they were really sweet. Now they're here for the long haul. And you're um, just like... Uh, like this okay <laughs> like hating yourself forever getting wound up with this person like you you can't ever let them go or um, they're just like uh there for the long haul and there's so much just unspoken words so much anger there's so much um <sighs> all right so i said all that let me just keep listening and watching okay Yeah, you're, you, you're very irate towards this hobo. Okay, so who is this hobo to you? Yeah, you know what? This actually really helping you out because you need to get mad. I mean, we need this scene is special for you. And you. I'm telling you, deep down inside, no matter how disturbing it is, okay, just do whatever sick, disturbing thing you need to do because it, it gets twisted. When we don't speak and years go by, then our, we become sick and twisted, okay? So in these energy spaces, we can let that sickness out and it can look however it wants to look and nobody's going to get hurt. It's actually going to help you feel better. Okay, so if you could do or say or express anything to this hobo, what would it be? How would it, what, what do you have in mind here? Because we need to get this out of your system. I mean, it's making you sick. And now here, this gag, it, you're gagging from this. I mean, no wonder the anxiety and the gagging. Okay, you say that you, you have a pair of scissors and they're silver and they're, you've got them and you're stabbing them in the throat immediately. But it, it's interesting because you lean all your weight because he's on the ground now and you're leaning all your weight into him through the scissors and into his throat almost like if the scissors could go deeper 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 like you're trying to reach a deep deep part of his own voice you're trying to, to cut into his voice and you want him to feel the pain but he feels nothing in fact he thinks that you're silly like a clown and i start to see that in his eyes he sees you like a clown who needs help Oh my gosh. I mean, you have a funny nose, you have the white, um, you look just like a clown would look. And he has absolutely no capacity or awareness that you're literally shoving scissors down his throat, like zero zilch. Like you're the one that needs help, not him. <laughs> so your interpretation of him is like, he's got it together, he's here to save you. <laughs> okay, no wonder you're frustrated. 
you can't get rid of him. I mean, you show me that you need him to stop talking so bad that you want to cut his head off and then bury it in the ground like a turtle or a chicken or something. Because it, it's like he... It's like it just keeps moving. It keeps uh, gawking and talking. It keeps uh, speaking. Then you need it to shut up. It's making you sick. But he just sees you as needing help. But he doesn't see that the help you need is for him to stop talking. And no wonder you stop talking because you can't seem to get through to him what he's doing to you. And so he cannot, he can't understand you at all. I mean, no matter what you say, he can't understand you at all. Even when you're loud and clear, he doesn't, it doesn't register. No wonder you're so full of anxiety that you're gagging. Like there's a communication um, issue that's inspiring this year. Uh, lack of communication or desperate overabundance need to, to um, be heard and then not heard and... You maybe you're swallowing this down, and but it's nothing resolves here. Nothing resolves. I, I'm saying to your spirit, guys, what what is the solution to this? My God, I I, I feel for you, okay? Because there's a this is serious. This is a I don't know what to do. For, I don't know what to say about this. So, what's your guides? What's the recommendation here? Okay, um, higher self and guides put a wall between you and this hobo. And you, the clown, go way over there, and this hobo goes way over there, and there's a wall, so you can't actually see each other. And now, unfortunately, he seems to be happy and go lucky in his own, I guess, fabricated illusionary world. He seems pretty peaceful, to be honest. Like, he seems happy. And, um, and you're, you've got all these... Uh, like pointy objects around your head, like little triangles that are like twinkling and um, circulating and they're sharp like arrowheads and they kind of stab around your head. And you, you're just turning in a dark corner and you're just so full of um, unresolved emotion, okay? And, and it's like you get the paper bag to breathe into. It's almost like convincing you that you, maybe you are mad or insane. And it very well could just be um, that this person can't interpret, can't receive um, a certain truth of, that you're trying to make clear. But then you can't really, this se person seems to be there for the long haul. So how are you going to deal with it? You need a time separation. And then you need time to breathe and to process. But I don't, I don't know what the solution still is. But they say that this is this is step one to the solution is separation, and then time to circulate the thoughts, even if they're painful and kind of stabbing you in the brain or in the head, and then to calm your breathing. Okay. I feel sad because it keeps echoing that you look like an insane person. But I hear the sound of you speaking clearly, but not heard. And then it just comes back to you that you, you're the one that needs help, not me. You're the weird clown person that actually needs my help. I'm the one helping you. And no, that, that's not how you feel about that. That's not how you see it. And you cry and you feel like this is, it's, it's like you're being tortured here. You're being tortured and you're being misjudged uh, and you're not being heard or received correctly. And I, I start to see uh, peeling potatoes, but peeling of your throat, okay? Peeling of your even voice, peeling away at your voice box even. It, it makes me sad to see this. And now there's rivers, like uh, the room's filling up and there's water flowing and it's all of this te these tears coming out your eyes and out your heart. Like there's just all this flow of emotion in here. And it's like you're drowning in emotion that nobody will ever hear or understand and you're all alone with yourself. Oh man. 
Okay, so that's that's actually the solution is you, you need to just continue to vent about this. Separation and venting about this. And the next thing is, is that um, your higher self and your spirit guides are with you. So what they're doing is they're showing me their stars that are shining. And I see that their light is entering into your heart and they don't want you to feel alone. They don't want you to feel alone because something is causing you to wonder if you're, you, you're the problem or you've gone mad here. But... Um, that's ca causing some ma major confusion here with identity and just confidence in yourself and, and what your feelings are about right and wrong or what works for you or doesn't work for you. So now it's not fair that you feel this way because you're not heard. Um, so all that's bottling up and it's just pushing you in a corner and these thoughts are hurting you. And lots of emotion drowning you. So your higher self and your guides are shining within your heart because they're your friends and they want you to know that you're not alone in the way that you feel. Because there's something quite loud that you feel alone in your feelings. And I still see the hobo on the other side, just so you know. Um, it's just like, do 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 Oh, hey, look at my magic tricks, you know, to some new people. And has no real sensory ability to have a clue what has been achieved here in this exchange. And my guides say that it's almost like that is what it looks like right now. Um, but for our session today, it's just, this is our first step, okay? Because there is the ability to go and really kind of take a look at what this this person's side is and really see what's going on there that might help you with perspective but for now this okay and it's not just me talking here we're actually transmuting we're actually transmuting a lot of this too so this is a really good um, next step and i'm really glad you reached out and thank you for this opportunity very much thank you again for sharing and everybody watching i appreciate you Thank you for your comments and support of my clients and I hope you all have a great day.